My, my name is David Dodds and I'm, my title here is Chief of Medicine for Regional Services. My clinical role is as a clinical oncologist here at the Beetson West of Scotland Cancer Centre. We specialise in genital urinary oncology, so uh, I uh, liaise with the uh, urologists both in Glasgow and especially in Lanarkshire which is where I have the bulk of my clinical practice. The, the main difference probably in cancer care over the last five to ten years is that uh, there's far greater multidisciplinary involvement with individual patients. So whereas previously you might have had a situation where uh, there would be one doctor tending to make the decisions about a patient's management all the way through, um, these days I think for very good clinical reasons um, mm -hmm. it tends to be a more a multidisciplinary approach. The other major change over the last few years is um, the increasing complexity of treatment. And it's really um, recognition of the increasing complexity of individual cancer patients that has necessitated a multidisciplinary approach. Um, because whereas I can give uh, hopefully good advice on the non-surgical aspects, it clearly requires an expert in the, the surgical processes to be able to give an opinion on that aspect of the care. Technology has been hugely um, influential from the point of view of radiotherapy. So the, the techniques that we, I'm using today are light years away from those that I trained with 20 years ago, even 10 years ago. So um, uh, the, the, the ability to treat patients more accurately, to higher dose and with greater imaging and greater reliability has increased um, tenfold in the last 10 years. So and, and again, technology has been absolutely at the, the forefront of driving those improvements. What we're able to do now is to be able to generate radiotherapy plans for individual patients much, much quicker than before. And that's based on, generally speaking, it's based on computer algorithms. Um, so uh, previously, it used to take like two or three days to make a radiotherapy plan for a patient, whereas now it can get done in 20 minutes. So we're able to tailor our treatments much more. And again, that, 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 that applies to drug treatments as well in the sense that um, specific genetic and molecular abnormalities can now be assessed within individual patients and drug treatments can be tailored according to the individual requirements. There are some technological aspects which can only be delivered in big centres and radiotherapy is the main example of that. Um, now to try to mitigate that we've uh, in introduced the, the, the satellite centre in, in Lanarkshire. So what we're trying to identify is uh, those services which can be put into the community so that we can concentrate on the things that really need to come here. You know there are some cancers where oral treatment, in, in my own specialty in prostate cancer, there are many patients who are now receiving oral treatment uh, and those pa largely those patients are still coming to hospital for it and there's no need for it. So again, we're actively trying to pursue means of uh, having that treatment dispensed within the community. Um, chemotherapy as, as such, uh, there are some, some regimes which we can deliver in the community, others we can't. So again, it's trying to tailor things accordingly so that um, those services which can be devolved into the community are done so, but only when it can be done safely and where patients are going to benefit from it.